Try and drink. Right now, Bubba Boo. And when it doesn't fall on for Bubba, Shea doesn't even get a shot. He's the only past champion of Rodeo Houston in the R10 round, so I can guarantee you that whoever ends up winning the team roping and the 100000 that goes with it will be first-time Rodeo Houston champions. Well, these are first-time attendees, but they're the ranch boys from Central Alberta, Canada. Roland McFadden and the Blue Plaid, Tyrell Flewelling at the heel side. Vulcan and Lacombe, Alberta, Canada. Now they've earned fifteen thousand five hundred dollars already for Canadians at U.S. funds. Oh, I thought they were just going to try to make sure they were sure shot. Then he loses a leg when you only rope one hind foot. That is a five-second penalty. I don't think anybody's going to advance with 11 and 5. Could be wrong. I don't think so. Well, crazier things have happened here, Bob. They really have. And I think you're a correct prediction that a penalty doesn't advance. But sometimes you just don't know. Colby Lovell to the right of your screen and the two-time and reigning world champion healer to the left of your screen. Colin Von Odd will scoop up the feet behind Colby Lovell of Madisonville, Texas. It's Texas and Oklahoma. They get a leg. As I said, stranger things have happened. Ten and four for Lovell and Von Odd. But if you're one of the final seven teams, now things are starting to look a little brighter for you. You got two legs and a no time, and this is probably one of the most dangerous teams that you're going to see tonight. JoJo Lamond and Jim Ross Cooper. Nine national finals qualifications between the two of them. And if you look up the word cowboy in the dictionary, it's not just the wide brim that makes JoJo Lamond a buckaroo. He broke an alligator if he could get close enough. And jump off in time. That's the guy in the West Texas buckaroo he is. This guy on the horn kitchen side is Nolan Ryan. He can throw a rope farther, harder, and faster than anybody else going down the road. Watch him. There it is. Sizzles. You see him handle that dally? That was awesome. That was awesome. And they're going to hold it at a 5-4 point, which you just asked for. I hope we get a chance to see that again. That is so cool. Watch this. Watch this, folks. The ropes aren't tied to the saddle horns. They're not tied. So watch the header's saddle horn. Watch him. Take that rope and hold it so he doesn't jerk the steer down. Then he lets it slide a little bit, feeds some line. It keeps the steer moving in a fluid motion. And the way that header handled that steer is why they're 5'4". A guy learns to do that in the brush here. Jay Cooper, Tyler McKnight, and another penalty. Oh, ho, ho, boys. Well, they only rope one hind leg, that's five. Then they broke the barrier on Jay Cooper's side, that's ten. They're going to be 19-6. With their fourth. Yeah, I know. That's not right, but they are. So now, Billy Bob Brown and Garrett Jess, it's your turn. 19-6 and six is the chopping block. A clean run, just a, a nice six or second, seven second run puts you second. This is an opportunity for these young men. Billy Bob Brown, the header that you see on your screen, a two-time college national finals champion. And this team was able to go to Walla Walla, Washington last year and take all the money. They've teamed up to win 10 grand at Rodeo Houston this year. They let the steer out, let everything come to them. Jess moves in, here we go. Five flat. Puts the young men number one in the round, and now the Canadians have to sweat it. All four final teams to rope are going to have to be faster than five flat to knock that team out. That's how good it looks right now for Billy Bob Brown and Garrett Jess. Every one of these final four teams would have to be five flat, even though they don't need to be. We got three teams, 10, or actually 11 5 is winning the fourth spot right now. Smith and Eves. The winners of Denver and Fort Worth. Look at this. The price continues to go up. 
4.9 for Clay Smith and Paul Eves. Could we have a 4.8, a 4.7, and a 4.6? Yes, we could. Right now, 10 and 4 is fourth. As we go to Ren Richard of Roosevelt, Utah, teamed up with Cole Davidson of Stephenville, Texas. 10 and 4 are the number you're looking at. Ren and Cole. An all-around hand in Ren, one of the only three Cowboys to come to Rodeo Houston in more than one event. Cole Davidson, the Cowboy that won in San Juan last year. This is a very, very talented team. Let's go, guys. You got a good draw. Oh, uh, he's looking back. He's looking back. He hit that line a little early. They're going to give him a rerun. A mulligan. See, right. we'll, we'll watch this, and I think what happened is the barrier rope fouled him. In other words, if it was his own equipment, it'd be one thing, but the barrier rope hits him. No, he hit the flagger's horse. Oh, there's the flagger's, the flagger's horse. horse. Yeah, with his loop. So he hit the he hit our field flake judge horse. Yeah, gotcha. It wasn't intentional. You'll see it right here. See, just barely. Yep. Let's roll. Burning Cardosa. Nope. All right. Who's gonna win first? Four nine, then a five, then a five four. Where are you going, boys? Ten and four is four. This is the three times champion of the world together, Clay Tryon and Jake Corkle. Tryon in the black shirt on the right side, Jake Corkle. Fallon, Nevada. Montana and Nevada. Make it look good right here. Clay T, that's pretty. Ah, that steer did not work quite right. Five and one, they, they made it look good. That's a good point, Bob. They are, they're third right now. But watch, this steer is gonna slow up right there. It's a good job of both of these guys to keep moving forward and not run by the steer. It's called horsemanship. Okay, the team uh, that was fouled by having uh, their rope Hit the flag judge's horse. Have now been reloaded with an extra steer that we draw just in case something weird like that happens. They got to be 5-4 or quicker. Ren Richard, Cole Davidson. There we go. Have the horns. Oh, he waited perfect. Look at that. One. They took one extra swing. The header slowed up just a little. And by one-tenth of a second, they'll be fifth instead of fourth. Now watch. One, two, three. And then he throws it. Headers turning. They stretch in face. Still not quick enough. Well, all the pressure in the world was on ten teams. Twenty men today. Any way you look at it, it comes down. Clay Smith, Paul leaves at the top. Oh, Billy Brown, you're good with Jess. Corkle and Tryon, JoJo Lamont, and Jake Cooper. You're good, guys. Thank you to Mitsubishi.